very good morning students so far we have completed up to series and parallel uh, circuit today let me discuss about symbols of electric components symbols of electric components importance of electric components electronic components are a, a necessary part of the manufacturing process of electronic goods the quality of components used in the manufacturing process can decide your future and growth in the market quality components intensi intensity intensify the quality of the end goods as well as its stability faulty electronic parts can produce an end product to failure and even stop working very early on its product life cycle electronic components once again about electronic uh, components that is electronic component symbols are used to denote the components in the circuit diagrams there are standard symbols for each of the components which represent that particular component here in this article we are explaining some basic and mostly used electronic components with their symbols look at the picture here this you will study in the higher higher classes why are symbols used for electronic components an electronic symbol is a pictogram used to represent various electrical and electronic devices or functions such as wires batteries resistors and transistors in a schematic diagram of an electrical or electronic circuit in the circuits discussed below we used the figures of electron electric components using using electric components in a complicated circuit is difficult so symbols of the components are used instead of figures so by drawing and ex giving explanation is too difficult so avoiding this kind of difficult we have a proper symbol for the electronic components if these symbols are used in the electric circuits even complicated circuits can be easily understood so this is the purpose we have we have symbols for the electronic components so what are the symbols here we are going to discuss electric cell so already we have discussed about the electric cell this is the pictorial diagram we have in the cell which we are seeing like this only but we have to use proper symbol so how to use the proper symbol for the cell if it is a cell we have to use two lines one is long terminal and another one is small terminal the long terminal denotes positive and the small terminal denotes negative end Look, consider the battery already we have discussed that two or more cells together which gives battery so how many cells we have connected accordingly we can give a battery symbol so here we have connected three cells so three symbols we can consider three symbol for the cells we can draw and the third one is switch on switch on symbol we have to do it like this that is switch open if it is the switch or else key we can consider switch or else key both are same only if it is a circuit if it is switch off or else switch open both are same we have to draw the symbol like this if it is switch on we have to draw the symbol like this that is switch on or else switch closed both are same only listen the fifth one electric bulb so bulb does not glow bulb glows so how to differentiate this is very simple we can draw the bulb symbol if you draw like this it means the switch that is bulb is glows bulb glows 
simply if we leave the bulb like this the bulb does not glow but the bulb does not glow and the last one is connecting wires connecting wires we can consider as straight line connecting wires we can consider as straight line which we discussed already so consider once again how to consider the electric cell so here we have a electric cell consider this this is a symbol for the electric cell we have a two terminal a longer one terminal is positive and the shorter one terminal is negative so if it is a battery how to connect two or more cells connected together we are calling it is a battery so how, how many bulbs sorry how many cells we have connected accordingly we can draw the symbol so i hope uh, you are all understood about the symbols students do you know about electric eel is a kind of a fish which is able to produce electric current this fish can produce an electric shock to safeguard itself from enemies and also to catch its food have you understood about electric eel electric eel is a kind of fish which is able to produce electric current by its own so let me discuss about another one instrument which is a meter a meter is an instrument is used to measure electric current it is used to measure electric current in the given circuit a meter is an instrument used in the electric circuits to find the quantity of current flowing through the circuit uh, this is to be connected in series so a meter so what is symbol we have to use for the a meter that's all this is symbol for the a meter so what is the purpose of a meter we have a meter is a instrument which is used to measure the amount of current flowing through the circuit we can check the amount of current flowing through the circuit we have another one meter which is called galvanometer we have to draw like this so this is a symbol for the galvanometer so what is the use of galvanometer through the help of galvanometer we can check the flow of current that is direction of current we can check with the help of the galvanometer so what is the purpose we have a meter a meter is a instrument which is used to measure the amount of current flowing through the circuit but what is the purpose we have for the galvanometer galvanometer is also is a type of instrument which is used to to check the direction of current what is that which is used to check the direction of current ammeter should always connected to connected in series per series circuit I mean series only this that should be connected in series only we cannot connect it in the parallel format voltmeter we can connect it par parallel but ammeter we cannot connect in the parallel form so voltmeter i told you know which is used to measure the voltage which is used to measure the voltage so, so here we have the symbol for the voltage so what is the purpose we have students voltage which is used to measure the voltmeter is the instrument which is used to measure the voltage in the given circuit voltmeter which is which should be connected in connected always parallel only ammeter should be connected in series only voltmeter should be connected in parallel form i hope you are all understood students thank you